And I don't know if this is true of all Jewish communities, but a friend of mine, she was telling me about how her par- her parents married, who are now Messianic Jews. Um, mm-hmm. But at the time, they met in Hawaii at a, it was like a Buddhist, Jewish Buddhist camp. And I was like, Jewish Buddhist? And she's wow. like, yeah, here's the thing about a lot of Jewish communities or Jewish families. They're okay if you're anything else. They mm-hmm. just don't want you to be Christian. I don't know. Yeah. Have you seen that to be true? Is that true? Oh, it's it's so true. It is yeah. really true. I mean, even look, even in the state of the country, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get you guys kicked off, but the state of the country, what do they say? They, they didn't say Buddhist temples have to close and uh, mosques have to close. They said churches have to close. It is yeah. an attack of the enemy. I want to share a really, really, really short, quick testimony about the Messianic Jews. This is yeah. so, this blew my mind when the Lord said this. So the Lord showed me a vision a few years ago of my dad, dad getting saved. He's not saved yet. So dad, you're watching. I love you. You know, he doesn't, he'll he'll see, this will be a testimony to him because I'll show him this video in a few, you know, months, hopefully. Mm -hmm. So the Lord showed me he was going to get saved. I had a vision where I was standing and I was preaching on stage and I saw my, my dad in uh, in like in the fourth row in the aisle. And I said, Lord, what is this? The Lord said, he's here to watch you preach. He's saved. I said, what? Praise God. So from then on, this is two years ago, I started preaching to my dad. I'm like, daddy, you know, Jesus and Jesus this and Jesus that. And every time I would talk to my dad, who's Jewish about the Lord, the conversation would shut down. I felt a shift in the spirit and it was like, and I tried this for months and months and months. One day, this is last year. Uh, one day uh, we're in the car and I, again, I'm like, okay, here's the opportunity. We talked for like two hours. We had a road trip. And then I was like, okay, talk about Jesus. So I mentioned Jesus instantly again, shifted the atmosphere, shifted in the spirit, wants nothing to do with it, shut down. And I literally, I screamed inside. I screamed in my spirit. I said, Lord, I was like, what are you? You told me he's going to get saved. I don't understand. I've been trying and trying and trying and nothing. He shuts down. How is my dad going to get saved? And I heard this so clear, Jeff. I heard, stop saying Jesus. Surely that's not from God. Yeah, no. Surely. I was just about to rebuke that voice, even though I, I I was so close. And then I heard him say, start saying Messiah. Okay. And it, it hit me. Wow. That's wisdom, Lord. Yeah. And from then on, I shut down the conversation. The next time I came, the Lord said, bring a Bible. Now he's ready to bring a Bible. I brought a Bible. And uh, I said, oh, dad, you want to hear about your Messiah? He said, sure. I did not touch the New Testament. I went through Old Testament prophecies, Psalm 22, Proverbs 30, Isaiah 53, you know, mm-hmm. Isaiah 60, Isaiah 61. I mean, I went down, you know, every as much as I could for two hours, he listened. And I said, does it sound like anybody, you know, (laughs) Psalm 22 pierced in his hands and his feet. And and he was like, no, I go, okay, (laughs) Jesus. I was like, okay. So just massaging and planting those seeds and the Lord brings the increase. He brings the water. So, so be encouraged guys with the Jews. It's wisdom from the Lord. Stop saying Jesus, start saying Messiah. Mm.